guys, it's your fave, Empress. Hope you're not mad with me. <laughs> Let's get to it! <laughs> it's more than statements, it's a way of life. Celebration, the Mr. Jensen talking. <laughs> Alright guys, so again, before we start listening to them songs track by track, right? That's how we're going to do it. That's how we always done it. Uh, we're gonna kick off this. I don't know if this even is the official kickoff, right? Because it's just like I'm assuming how some of you guys have like laid it out. This is like right before like a prayer dropped, uh, and I don't mean that literally, but you know, before the album dropped. And this is an interview with Madonna and uh, some lady named Sandra Bernhardt. And uh, yeah, y'all said it's an interview we're seeing, so I'm trying to see something. Let's go! <laughs> she has a hit off-Broadway show called Without You, I'm Nothing. And her, listen to this, her autobiography will be published at the end of this month, folks. Please welcome back Sandra Bernhard. All right, good context. So this lady was kind of a big deal. Uh, autobiographies, Broadway plays. All right, let's go. <laughs> My last cry, I'm out the door, babe. Okay. There's all the fish okay. in the sea. Okay. Ooh, baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Hey, will somebody please tell Samantha Fox that naughty girls also need a good dye job? How about it, Samantha? Dang, I actually reacted to that song. Shout out to the Patriots. Naughty girls need love too. <laughs> well, you're hot tonight, baby. You're on. You are on. Hi, hi, hi. How are you? Happy anniversary. Thanks. To you. Uh, let's let's talk to you a little bit about this uh, show. Let's talk about it. Let's promote it. Let's plug it. Let's now, what what is the deal? Now, you this thing started around uh, in the. It Remember last time I was here and you started said it was in the gonna, spring. It was going to close. I said it would be gone Easter. by April. Yeah, but okay. it's still here, and it's a surprise. surprise. Is, is it like a big hit now? Major hit. They're uh, all common baby, and they all love me. They're eating me up. Now, where where is it playing? At the Orpheum mm -hmm. Theater. Now, is that downtown, a big theater? A major theater. Yeah. How many seats in this place? Oh, about three fifty. Really? Yeah. And, and you Half do? Half and a man. You like do? Sardines. Do you do a, a matinee? No, I do uh, midnight shows, late shows. Uh huh. Late shows. The hip crowd. And, and are you? <laughs> Only the hip people. Are you, um... My reviews have come out. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you. I know. Yeah. She is, uh, very confident. Uh, all right, so this lady, boom, this is cool. Hope I'm done to come soon. I can't lie, right? I, I ain't really come here for her, so can we speak this thing up? All right, let's go. <laughs> you kind of... Clive Barnes described me as a Butch Carly Simon. <laughs> Funny. I always thought of Carly as such an ingenue herself. A veritable will o' the wisp. See, now I don't know what any of that means. Oh, you do too. And then Walter Goodman from the New York Times came down. He was an older man, about 87. He sat down front like he was trapped in hell. Like he was thinking, so I can't wait till I go home and give myself an enema. I mean, the man was miserable. And then. I know that feeling. I, get a, I know you do. I got a write up in the Village Voice from a woman named Lori Stone, uh -huh. who had previously kissed my butt, okay, was all up in my face. She more or less accused me of wanting to be more successful and famous than I already am. And you know what, David? I've been on the phone to my therapist for weeks. There's something wrong with me. What's the I do want to be more successful, and I'm scared. No, you're doing a little. What does she want me to do? Go over to Show World and become a stripper? I mean, you, now look. This you did a little Mary Richards there, didn't, didn't you? Didn't you notice yeah, that? a little bit of Mary, Mary? Richards, yeah. <laughs> What's that microphone that they put out? I don't here? know, but now. Uh, no, I want to play you a phone. But what's going to happen if you actually become a big deal? I already am. Where is it? What Mary? is it? I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. Next. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Easy to. So this lady was confident. All right, let's go. That. What am I going to do? A, a, a little Julie 
London number one out here. Filter, flavor, pack, or box. Miss Julie London. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> the kids are so slow out here, aren't they? Woo, I've got spurs that jingle okay. jangle. All right, now what the hell with this? I don't care. You know, I stripped on the show, the, the Robin Bird show. Nobody knows what that is. They know! Do you know Robin? So anyways... But got, no, nobody knows in the rest of the country what Well, they're gonna know. No, they're not gonna know. They know. They don't care. They love me. <laughs> so All right, now you have your little devices out here. What's the deal? <laughs> no, forget it. No, I want to hear this. This well, is the I'll woman from... All yeah, right, the let's woman see. from the village was Okay, let's hear it. And left me a message at home after she gave me this... Now where's the microphone again? Listen. Hi, this is Lori Stone. Hi. I hope we can be friends. You can continue to trash me in your act, but I have a favor to ask you. My number is three. Oh, it's your phone number. You know I love your work. Right. I love you. I hope we can be friends. I really do. So this is like like exposing somebody on the block for hey. blocks. <laughs> Something that I'm cooking up at The Voice that I'd like to talk to you about and see if you can become involved or even just have a chat about it. It's for the gay pride issue, which Richard Goldstein is putting together. He's asked me to do something to contribute to it, and I wanted to talk to you about it. So yeah, I think we may listen to you, um, and I'm glad the show is working out. I really am. I'm uh, sure you are, yeah. bitch. Hey! <laughs> okay? Well, that's me. nice. We bring on your little messages. Maybe next time, bring on your mail. Read some of your mail. <laughs> Go through your checkbooks. Oh, by the way, thanks for letting me stay in your house while you're out of oh. town. I had a ball. I really did. <laughs> and the kids loved it, too. Okay, we have to uh, do a commercial, and then we'll be right back here with Sandra Bell. <laughs> Welcome back to the uh, show. Senator Bernhardt is here. I think this is great that you're finally, because always before you'd come on and we'd talk about a lot of stuff and there wasn't really much going on, but now you've got your own show and people are going to Thank see you. it. And you're sort of now starting, starting to become... I'm just glad to be back in New York, baby. Yeah, yeah you enjoy this town, New don't York, you? New York. Mm -hmm. If you can make it here, you'll fail everywhere else. I don't get that. I don't understand that. Well, call Liza Minnelli. She knows everything. <laughs> I think Liza, hey, I think Liza's going to be on the show. new campaign? I don't want 60,000 pounds of concrete falling on me in the middle of the night. Why should you? Was that, was that one of her hotels? <laughs> that was one of her yeah, hotels. Yeah. They can take a little money from that tax evasion and put it back into the hotels. Well, Harry? Yeah. Harry? Now, when you, uh, when you work at night, you're doing a midnight show that leaves your day free, doesn't it? What do you do? Do you, do you shop? Do you cook? Do you watch TV? Do you go out? What do you... All that and more. Yeah. I've been working out a lot. Right. Pumping iron. Yeah. Cookie little club called Better Bodies. Uh -huh. Better than ever. Uh-huh. Ooh, touch. Touch, wild man. <laughs> it looks... All right, guys, so if you don't mind, I think I've gotten a good sense of who this lady is, or at this time particularly, right? She had just, you know, made success. She like, screw y'all, F y'all, boom, for y'all who doubted me, whatever, I'm here now, right? Boom, she like on that Kanye West, can't tell me nothing. Okay, that's her vibe right now. All right, so let's go ahead and fast forward. Let's see when our girl coming out. I know back in the day, 1988, y'all probably stayed up late and was like, man, what am I doing at? Is. But this might be some of y'all girls too. I don't know. All right. Anyway, let's go. let's let's talk about For the Yiddish kids in the. Crowd. Now wait a minute. Let's let's talk about you and uh, your new good friend Madonna. Is there any truth to this nonsense? Mm, a hair, a tad. Do you know her? Have you ever even met her? Well, who is that in the pictures? Yeah, but that could have been you Frank running Gorshin? up to her I'm at the airport. <laughs> me right over the deep end every time. There you yeah, are again. Yeah, well, that's that's right. this, it... So they like on some Courtney Kardashian, like Addison Ray type stuff. <laughs> Y'all chat those comments below. Let me know what's up. <laughs> like she's a, uh, you, uh, okay. she's consoling you there. Well, it was or a, a what, tender where... moment with me and Madonna. Yeah. 
So what do you... I love the... Uh, it's all girls' night as Madonna leads terrible trio on late night mm -hmm. Lulu's. Right, I see. So what do you, what, what do you do when you go out? We just party, get crazy. Now, what does that mean? You party and you get crazy. Oh, we throw back some tequila. We talk about old times, and we get to know each other a little better. What do you think you do with a girlfriend? <laughs> what do you do when you go out with your girlfriends? You know what? As a matter of fact, she. I'm catching double entendre here with girlfriend, right? <laughs> Y'all let me know what's up. Drop the comments below. Where is Mr. P in that in this picture? Had him and Madonna already got divorced. And somebody also dropped a link below. You guys said it was like a, a documentary or an episode or something that talked about the their marriage. I would love to see that again. I know I'm asking for a lot. But drop the comments below. And uh, this is interesting. So Madonna has now partnered with somebody who is very controversial, I see. Um, interesting. So at the same time, she's trying to win Hollywood approval. She's still like, F y'all, I'm about to be out here with somebody who got a lot of shock value. Am I reading this right? All right, let's go. Pleased <laughs> to be here tonight. Madonna is here. Uh-huh. Hi, That's right. Well, well, would you like to meet her? I don't know. Is it it's up to me? I think it is up to you. Well, sure. Oh, bring... gap tooth. <laughs> So her and Dave must have been cool. Like I had not seen a lot of his shows, but she like basically sunning this man on his own show. Like this, I'm running the house. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> not they twins and they twins and without me, huh? <laughs> they look cute though. <laughs> No, you, what, it's, it's my, no. No, baby. Uh-uh, I came through with the goods. She's very territorial. Nice here. to meet you. Thank you very much for being here. That girl I hope stays you mean right that. There. No, what do you mean? Of course I mean that. It's, it is nice to meet you. And Isn't it's nice she to, delightful and charming? Well, and if you'd shut up, we'd find out. <laughs> what? What? You know, you know, it was uh, about a year ago. I was in Italy the same time you were in Italy. I have a great story about being in Italy then with you. You have a great story? Yeah, about you were you were working there and I was on vacation. It's a wonderful story. Maybe oh, so far I'm fascinated. <laughs> I'm riveted to the story. Uh -huh. she, she hates it when people don't talk about her yeah. in front of her. Oh, go ahead. You don't have that problem much. I'm yourself. just kidding. Woo! <laughs> 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 no, I love you, Sandra. Uh, I love you, babe. Well, I can't believe you're wearing we, the same thing I'm wearing. Yeah. What I know, a coincidence. I can't imagine how it happened, but uh, <laughs> we I tell you what, amazing. can you hang around for a second because we have to do a commercial? And then we'll be right back. And then You're we can really talk. Pushing your luck oh, shut girl. up! Then we can do whatever you want to do. Well, we'll uh, station identification. So I'm somebody I always say, Madonna look good with dark hair. I love her with dark hair, but she gave me such a different vibe with dark hair, right? But I will say though, since she got married, this is like the most fun I've seen her like having in an interview which is kind of like not really interview but kind of interview all right anyway let's finish this all now let's finish y'all welcome back to the uh, show monday steve martin will be here bob goldthwaite and oh, uh, other folks it sounds like a rerun to me oh. uh, madonna is here with her uh, new Jay. little friend uh, sandra Jay. Bernhardt. Listen. uh you know you look great you just look terrific <clears throat> Thanks. Well, you're very welcome. And you're in the Speed the Plow, and is that fun to do? Yes, she looks really good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she hates it. <laughs> She's miserable. I am. I want out. Oh. Dang. Hey, for um, real? It's like that? Uh, yeah. Dang. What is it you don't... We're gonna trade. I'm gonna do her show. She's you know gonna she's do mine. Doing a, I'm putting together a stand up act for her. Oh, is that right. right? Madonna in the big room at ballet. I'm gonna stand up and everyone's gonna laugh at me. They are gonna love uh, her. Uh, why, yes. do, why don't you like being in the play? I do. Well, you just, just said you didn't, though. I'm just effing with you. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> okay. baby, baby. In that case, let me, Ooh, baby. Let me I adjust love the chair. Yes. Uh, so, anyway, you, you, were, you were in Italy. I was in Italy. You were. 
So, oh, uh, Salt and Pepper had just came out. I'm guessing. <laughs> he was so pushy. In every, All right, let's go. Everywhere oh, I would that. go. You saw me. Yeah. Pictures on, of me. Uh, not only pictures, but in restaurants, they were shutting down so everybody could run out of the kitchen and watch you on television. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Well, it was. I'd never seen anything quite like that. Mm -hmm. Yep, as it should be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, how much longer are you going to be in the big play? Uh, um, <clears throat> press it for life. Exactly, that's what it feels like. Um, <laughs> well, this is no, good, certainly good news for ticket holders, isn't Hi, it? Hi, Joe. Until the end of the summer. End of the summer. But yeah. it must be uh, an exciting experience in some regard, huh? Yeah, but let's not talk about the play. Okay, let's not. Let's talk about you two getting together. Mm -hmm. Over no. my dead body! <laughs> I see something happening here, and I'm, I'm not I'm going to talk about me and Sandra. <laughs> What, uh, when yo, this surgery lady is wild, okay? Wild, let's go. <laughs> now, when you yeah, guys do you right actually here. do things together? You go out and you go to clubs and so forth. We carouse. Now, what kind of how explain to me a typical night and could I be a part of this? Yeah, do you? Like, you like one night, if, you, if you're not feeling <laughs> one night, if you're not boom, boom, <laughs> putting that in the ass. So, thank you very much. Yes, and not a minute too soon. You can come with us. Thank y'all for real. I like legit just miss what she said. So let me wind up. Now, what kind of how? Explain to me a typical night, and could I be a part of this? Yeah, do you? Like, you like one night if you change. if you're not feeling. <laughs> one night if you're not. Room. She said something about sex tape or something. So, thank you very much. Yes, and not a I minute too soon. You can come with us. So. <laughs> Take now what happens? You go out. What time do we leave wherever we leave from? When we're done with the show, we go out. All right. So what we time is that? We Ten o'clock. Okay. And, and then sometimes what Sometimes with Jennifer Grey. Sometimes mm -hmm. just the two of us. Yeah. You head right to Blimpy's. Get a load of bombers. <laughs> oh, so Jennifer Grey. That's the that's baby in the corner. Okay, got it. And like, yeah, Sandra, or Sandra. How have you do it, Sandra, Sandra? Uh, she is making a lot of alluding to something physical here right she say we hook up okay so they have three so what's up y'all let me know is this madonna's girlfriend what y'all don't come as well uh -huh. and then what do you do usually find us at the canal bar at mk's en route to the cubby hole exactly yeah and so <laughs> <laughs> and you just hang around all night and, and do odd things. We, and kill, we do odd things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We do very odd. We are, we are human oddities. We mm -hmm. hang out at the wax museum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> when we're bored, we stand as two of the figures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Madame Tussaud is thrilled. We mm -hmm. split each other's split ends. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd love to go on talking to you. You're a charming couple, but now it's time to play our game. So uh, I, I think we... No, wait a second. <laughs> What, uh, what what will you be doing after the uh, the play closes? Or when you leave the play, it'll, it'll continue without you, right? When you leave? Yes, it will. Yeah. Isn't Brooke Shields taking your place? I think... The I very think, enchanting and lovely Miss Brooke Shields. I think she should. The sleepy Brooke Shields. I love Brooke Shields. Uh, well, she who doesn't? We... too fast. Okay, I'm that's fine. Tired. All right. Uh, no, really. Uh, Sandra? Yeah? I think we should just cut it right here. Oh, good. What? You know what? No, I'm sorry, I don't. What? You know what? No, tell me. Get, want me get real with me. Do you want me to? Well, go ahead. You, you brought it up. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Well, I think about. we have a little skit Excuse coming me, up here. Excuse me, David. Yes, sure, right, go ahead. <laughs> you want me to come back? Oh, I'd love to have you come back. I think... I think it's time to fess up and get real. Honey, anytime you're ready, get real. I hate stuff like this. I, I, just, I just hate stuff okay, like this. Okay, yes, I slept on right. I slept Shut on up. the show. <laughs> and he was it's terrible. You lied. No, look. You were much better. <laughs> So we got some truth in these j j jokes, right? <laughs> truth in these <laughs> jokes, let's go. you want to know the truth? Get your leg off of me. She doesn't give a damn about me. Oh, right. Is that right? She loves Sean. Well, I can understand that. She's been using me. 
Just to get to Sean. To get to Sean. Well. I introduced her to Sean three years ago at Warren Beatty's house. Listen to this. At Warren Beatty's house. Time out. Time out. Y'all say my girl here starts dating Warren Beatty, but my girl Joan Collins back in the 60s was engaged to old dude. But Madonna meet this dude while she married to Sean Penn. Interesting, right? I'm like, this is like, I'm reading a great novel right now. Let's go. <laughs> and she has been in love with him ever since. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's true. I'm not denying yeah. She doesn't care about me. No. Well, that's, that's She's been sad. using me. Well. Our late night Lulu. Thank God. Thank God. Listen, we, we, we're running a no, little short. No, wait a second. No, wait, I am running. telling you the truth. Okay. Sandra, I'm, I knew you could never. We, Excuse me. We have to. We, wait we, a second. I knew she would never admit to it privately, so I'm taking this chance to humiliate her in front of thousands of people. Thousands. Thousands? All right, a hundred. You're going to humiliate me. <laughs> we, we have to go now. We, we do. We have to go. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. So, as always, my fam never disappoints. This was actually very entertaining, very interesting to see, right? Again, up until this point in the journey, in regards to interviews, Madonna has always been kind of like, uh, something like the early days, right? She was a little bit more freer and um, talking, right? A little looser. But once we hit that kind of, I Mrs. Penn, right? I'm, I'm married, right? I seen it with Molly Meldrum, the 85 interview. She started kind of got a little tight, and the last time we seen her was with Jane, right? She was sitting in the uh, breathless dress, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, right? So it was like, a, and Jay was hating. So it was a very tight interview. So I think, yeah, this is like the next real interview I've seen, but this wasn't even really like an interview. This was like a, oh, Madonna and dropped in on the interview type deal and again very loose right very fun as a matter of fact and also now again i want to know the tea with her and this sandra like what was going on right was she still married to shove the divorce right was it speculation i'm guessing prior to the show that they were a couple right y'all let me know and if they were if that kind of speculation is out there and if they were like a confirmed couple like wow so madonna really boom i'm out here yeah i'm a sexually full what's up <laughs> like okay let, let me know but again like in the 80s for her to do that the height of her career wow that's very interesting and also again like i just don't understand her right one minute i feel like she's playing hollywood cards like okay i'm doing hollywood one. but the next minute she's like ever hollywood i'm out here to have fun that, that's the music side coming back out right the fun side forget hollywood we want the music so i'm definitely excited to hear what this album is about to come with I hope it's some fire bops is it gonna be seven or better that's the question right i'm waiting for that album that's going to dethrone madonna 83 is it going to dethrone 83 ah, we're gonna see fire bops for y'all at seven seven or better let's go <laughs> all right guys i love you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this i will see you guys soon as we begin to listen to this album all right bye guys <laughs>